Segregation in Canada was used to provide subpar education and housing to black communities or deny it altogether. It was also used to stop black people from immigrating. Doctors paid by the Canadian government would go to the U.S. to dissuade black Americans from immigrating, claiming they were medically unsuitable for the climate and that their daughters would be subjected to invasive medical exams, which did unfortunately happen. Provincially, Nova Scotia has one of the longest histories of segregation, with the last segregated public school remaining until 1983. Some of the province's most infamous cases of segregation include Dr. Carrie Best, a black journalist and activist, and Viola Desmond, a black entrepreneur who were both criminally charged on separate occasions for sitting in the whites-only section of the Roseland Theater. The purpose of segregation was to control and surveil the lives of black Canadians, a practice rooted in Canada's history of slavery and white supremacy, and these markers of where and when black life can exist are still heavily embedded into our society. Let's look at a case study in part four.